Hi guys, uh, in this video we're going to play around a bit with the interactive mode and I'm going to show you a couple of things uh, which are quite important in Python. First of all, let's, let's define some variables. Now we know what a variable does. Let's define our first variable a, or let's say, uh, <clears throat> yeah why not, a is equal to 17. Let's define b is equal to 29, uh, sorry 29. And let's define a third variable called c which is equal to hello okay great now let's do some one thing you can do with oh, let me let me first define a fourth variable what I call that is also everybody right great so now I've got four variables now uh, we discussed it last time that <clears throat> uh, each variable in Python basically does not hold the value but basically points to an object which is which holds the value so basically a is pointing to a number object b is pointing to a number object c is pointing to a string object or a text object and d is pointing to a string object as well now we can add variables together so basically i can say a plus b and i get 66 which is basically the addition of these two numbers uh, sorry 46 and i can also add two strings so c plus d is hello everybody so you see here there are two meanings to plus one plus is for numbers which basically adds the numbers and the other plus which is for uh, strings concatenates strings so we can do uh, c plus d we can improve that a bit and we we use c plus and now i can add a further string which is basically the empty space between the two words and i include that like that just just open uh, quotation marks space close quotation mark, and then I concatenate D and now I have a, a, a new string which is basically a concatenation of C empty space and D okay now what happens if I add a plus C well I got a problem why because one is a number one is a string and both don't mix you see because um, the plus in in python has different meanings it, 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 its meaning or its function varies to the context so if the context is numbers a plus means addition if the context is strings plus means concatenation however if you mix it numbers and strings it won't know why why what do i do concatenate or add so basically now here we have to decide ourselves what do you want to do with a plus c well, in this case, the only option for me is concatenation. And for concatenation to work, I have to make sure that both variables are strings. Now, C is a string already, no problem. But what about A? How can I convert A to a string? Well, there is a function called str, and that converts A to a string. So basically, if I go str, and like, like I mentioned that in the previous video, every function, be it in Python or any other language, always comes like this. Function name, in this case str, and then open bracket and close bracket. Open bracket and close bracket. And within those brackets, you insert the input. In our case, we wish to convert A to a string. So basically what I do, I just type in A in here. So in, what happens now is that after I press return, uh, uh, a gets converted to a string and you will see uh, it'll, it'll, you will see the value 17 however enclosed in quotes okay so that means this is what, what happens with str now if I wish to conc concatenate again a plus c I would have to do it there are multiple ways to do it one way is to do it, go like this str open paren close paren uh, sorry open paren a close paren plus c okay so what happens here i use a function <clears throat> i don't use a in the concatenation but the, the, the conversion of a and the, the to, to to string gets concatenated to c and once i press return i will get 17 hello okay another way to do it is to define a new variable let's call it e and this e is basically a converted to a string okay and then I then concatenate E plus C and I get the same result. So it's up to you how you wish to do it. Sometimes 
sometimes you need to define a new variable okay so you define a new variable in our case e and you con and that variable is a conversion of a and that variable gets then um um it, 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 used in a, it gets used in a concatenation or you, you, you perform the concatenation, you perform the conversion to string during that concatenation. It doesn't matter. It depends on your situation, your application, whatever you need, you know. So basically, but both deliver the same result. There is another function. Let's, let's, let's have a, 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 another, another variable. Let's call it f. And f is basically the string 1, 2, 6. Now, I defined it as a string by enclosing it in, quote, in quotes, in this case, single quotes, okay? It doesn't matter how you insert your uh, uh, strings in, in Python, either double quotes or single quotes, it doesn't matter. However, once you enclose it in quotes, it means it's a string. So basically, f is a string, okay? And f can be easily concatenated to c or to d, however, f, Although it looks like a number, cannot be concatenated to uh, A because F is a string. How? how? How do I know that? Well, it's obvious. It's enclosed in uh, single quotes. Right. Now, how can I perform an addition between A and F? Well, here I would have to convert F to a number. Now, obviously, not every string can be converted to a number. Okay, so basically here, f, I can convert f to a number, and the way I do it is f, uh, sorry, uh, the way to convert a number is basically, there's a function called int, int for, a short for integer, and it's same thing, same thing as str, just a different name, so basically int, open param, who are the, who the, what's the input in this case? Well, f, and then close param. And now I have 126 without the quotes, right? And so if I wish to add now, in this case, a and F, I would, I can, I again have my two options, either A plus int, open paren, F, close paren, and I would have 143, or I define a new variable, let's call it G equal int F, and then I just add, I just add, um, I just add uh, 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 A plus G. And I would get the same result. Okay, so this this is uh, uh, how Python works. You, you always have to pay attention to uh, certain operators. In this case, the plus mean different things to different types. If you have a number, plus means addition. If you have uh, um, strings, plus means concatenation. And we'll go on with this theme in the next uh, video.